Okay, I completely started over because I don't want it to remember ECS or like anything we were talking about before. And what's interesting is I've had quite a bit of exposure to build farms over the last you know seven years. And so I'm interested to see what it says about that particular architecture pattern because it's truly evolved and there's actually like seven or eight ways to do it. It's also a highly complex games architecture. There are third party services, there's do it yourself versions. Um, I've written blogs about this. I've had exposure to other people's stacks um, across the board around build farms. And so I'm gonna see if chat GPT can solve some of the industry's most complicated architecture. So let's say I would like chat GPT, oh, chat GPT to build me an a build farm for a games workload. And I'm not gonna say what engine. Oh, I am not able to build anything for you because I'm open AI, I'm only, okay, 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 okay. Well, I have to re-ask the question. <laughs> he can't build it for me. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Don't replace your people. Okay, so uh, can you design me an architecture for a cloud-hosted build farm for games? I'm gonna leave it at that because you can also have build farms for non-client-side workloads. And let's see what it assumes. It says pick a cloud provider. That makes sense. Set up a central build server <laughs> using Jenkins. <laughs> yep, we're freaking never as an industry getting off Jenkins. Um, okay, set up a number of build nodes. Use Git. Create a CI pipeline. Oh, sel Selenium. Use Selenium. Oh, there's other ways to do testing beyond Selenium now, but that's cool. Maybe that's what it pulled from. Use a cloud service such as Amazon S3 to store the built games or any of the artifacts. Monitor the build farm. <laughs> you can use New Relic or Datadog. Overall, this architecture is stable, flexible, and reliable. That is some AWS words in there for hosting a build farm for games in the cloud. That's hilarious. It's so it's kind of like if I look at this architecture, I would say this is maybe mm, two or three years old in the architecture pattern around this stuff. And it is definitely for a specific kind of developer because you have to know Jenkins, you have to know Selenium, you have to know that you would then set up a distro to S3 and you would need some way to then pull those builds. And it doesn't really account for a lot of the problems that these workloads have right now, which is trying to actually pay down time. So I would say, I don't wanna do it this way. Can you architect a games build farm for, hmm, Unreal, that is fast. Use an HPC system. I love that it's throwing processing power and parallelism. Set up a central build server. Use Jenkins. Powerful machines with a lot of CPU and memory. Ooh, use network attached device or storage area network to to store the built games or any of the artifacts. So, okay. <laughs> so because I injected the word, fa word fast, it starts throwing in <laughs> network attached storage. Interesting. Okay. This video is too long. So I've got to, I've got to try again. And with this knowledge now, 